Kumusta and maligayang pagbabalik sa aking channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Get comfortable. You may be wondering why I am reacting to this video. Well, it's simple. Yesterday, I just witnessed a crazy celebration, okay? And I say celebration because we could witness a massive crowd at the Philippines arena while they were cheering for Hinebra, which is a Filipino basketball team of the PBA, so Filipino Basketball Association. So it was Hinebra versus the Bay Area. Uh, that's a very interesting name because every time I hear the Bay, I think of San Francisco. But the Bay Area, I think, is a Chinese team. And Hinebra won, but it took place in the Philippines, in the Philippines Arena, which is one of the biggest arenas in the world and houses approximately 54, 55,000 seats. Uh, and it's really, really impressive. So that is why I am reacting to this video today. I want to learn about another arena that they will be building in the Philippines and that will be even bigger and more impressive than the Philippines arena and that apparently according to Wikipedia is, uh, is going to be housing approximately 75,000 seats. Oh my goodness, that is huge. And guess what they're gonna call it? the king dome okay so if you read it really fast it's just the kingdom oh that's very sweet okay now before we start make sure to follow me on instagram at music game news because that is where you can dm me your suggestions and without further ado let's jump right into it A spirit will a national icon is now emerging as a crowning jewel in a prominent city Wait. in southern Philippines. It's it has already been built, or is this a fake um you know mock-up thing? 75,000 75, seating KGC Kingdom, soon to be largest indoor cathedral in the world. It's a cathedral! Okay, well that's different. Wow, okay. Its majestic diamond curtain walls showcase the cultural heritage of the region. It's been it's built already. Yeah. Power and royalty with a Philippine eagle like illustration. While its big LED screens serve as its eyes that mirror the faith and vision of the man who is building it. It's very impressive. This mega structure is the KJC Kingdom, located in the New Jerusalem, Davao City, Philippines. Davao City. With a maximum capacity of 75,000 and equipped with state of the art technology, the KJC Kingdom is said to be the biggest multi purpose dome and indoor arena. Only okay, multi-purpose dome. Okay, so it's not just a religious place. Okay, and it does not seem like it's completely done yet. But I mean, from from outside, it looks complete. But also in the world today. The KJC Kingdom, a project of Master Apollo Sikibuloy through the ACQ Solomonic Builders Development Corporation, broke ground on September 3, 2012. The mega structure stands at 95.14 feet or 29 meters. Damn. An area of 5.84 hectares or 58,400 square meters. That's roughly the size of over 117. NBA basketball courts. The no! <laughs> is adjacent to the Davao International Airport. So in order to pass wow. the flight path limitations, 
The floor area of the arena was excavated approximately 9 meters down the ground, just like the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Oh, wow. 1 million and 80,000 cubic meters of soil were extracted in 547 days. 110,000 truckloads pleaded in 547 days or one and a half years. Compared to the KJC Cathedral, the present worship space of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, one kingdom is equivalent to 16 cathedral buildings in terms of floor area. That is insane. By seating capacity, one kingdom is equivalent to 36 cathedral buildings. The 2.5 hectare KJC Kingdom rooftop that can park a fleet of 136 Bell Fort. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Air conditioning facility in the country in terms of equipment and capacity. To add this up, aside from the electrical transformers, generators, and automatic transfer switch, or ATS, the isolated 7,000 square meter mechanical electrical building also houses eight cooling towers, chilled water condenser pipes, and eight chillers with different sizes. Let's compare the kingdom to existing structures within the vast mm. kingdom of Jesus Christ compound. Imagine one 300 tons chiller of the kingdom can accommodate six SMNI broadcast centers with 50 tons cooling capacity. How much more would all the chillers operate in its full capacity? If laid up from end to end, the 11,832 meter chilled water and condenser pipes would extend from Makati City to Kazan City. Oh, wow. But how did it progress in 2022? Honestly, from outside, it looks done. Building a 75,000 seater indoor cathedral is quite an enormous undertaking. Although there's a deadline to be met, but the team behind the mega structure made sure that the project will be able to withstand the elements of time and nature. Yeah. The Kingdom is designed to hold up to intensity 9 earthquake. Everything was uh, directed or supported by the four main columns of the Kingdom. So that's uh, necessary for us to, to make sure that our foundation is stable. To clear all the roads from the ground. I find architecture and engineering so fascinating because I can't even start to comprehend how they build such immense and majestic uh, structures that can withstand, you know, uh, natural disasters. It's incredible. It's all in the math. I mean, I know that, but my God, and it takes so much energy and work and resources to build this kind of stuff so my question is is it really necessary you have the philippines arena do you really need another bigger arena you know and also uh, how much did it cost and how long did it take to build this from the up to the that's uh, what we are trying to establish here in our budget. the superstructure of the kingdom is supported by 32 reinforced concrete footings and pedestal upstand and tie beams. 2015 it started. Oh, <gasps> no. The building of the foundation and its structural components, which took almost a decade to complete. A decade, oh wow. As the soft opening and inauguration was here, here's what 2022 looked like for those who are behind this mammoth of a structure. I am giving a blow by blow uh, report of the Kingdom of Dates. Ten years. Which is like the piece by piece being installed now. It's not tapos natin February 2022. Man. Human beings can do amazing things, man. 
tayong uh, ginagawang mga painting works naman. Lahat ng mga wires natin are already put in place. Installation process of the seat meticulous. Kailangan masunod yung layout na race of the sun. Installed na lang. Meron tayong escalator na kakabit dito sa kingdom. Yung nasa 24 hmm. units po. Escalators. Yung mechanical electrical building. Kinasabi ni Pastor na cart and lang po na kingdom. Yeah, it's a feat, man. Sandwich panel installation. Wow, 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 wow. Mino monitor niya ang bawat activity ng pag-install ng escalator. So, so basically this project started before Bongbong Marcos and before Duterte, right? Mm, they worked with China. Mm -hmm. That probably delayed it a lot. Um, the advancement of the project. VIP room one, mezzanine area. It's too much, bro. It's golden. <laughs> Wow, wow, why? A mixing and a fusion of global cultures in uh, different time dimensions. Uh, we can see that. So it's very unique. The art direction on the screen, you know, when I watch it on the screen, I'm not a big fan, but I think that I may be able to appreciate it if I see it uh, in real life, you know, if I walk through the halls and I actually get to see the, the art uh, of the building, you know, but on screen, I'm not a big fan of the art direction. It feels a little obnoxious, you know. Like it and approve it, yeah. For example, I I I do many also hotel projects in different countries, but the the style, everything, actually, so common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 3D models, right? Yeah. It's amazing. Um, moments with Pastor and the old management and friends from KDC. I'm really appreciate for this arrangement. So you see, this is very unique and a majestic uh, landmark in Philippines. I, I think not only the, in Philippines, 
So this is a joint effort between China and the Philippines to build the, the kingdom. That's what I'm, I'm understanding. I have a dream <laughs> that one day we will have a kingdom that's bigger than anything you have ever seen. <laughs> It's so large. My God. How could I build the kingdom which is 75,000 sitting capacity if I did not have that kind of vision? And it was incubated within me for this many years. Incubated. It has been my, dream. It has been my prayer. And then by faith, I incubated it. I envisioned it. What the mind can do. Yeah, I don't know about the faith, but yes, you can achieve definitely. You just gotta believe. And with Pastor Apollo seeking glory utterly, everything is meticulously done according to the Almighty Father's light. Why is that important? He's just one man. He's not the only one working on this place. He's just showing us his dedication to the project. Okay, okay, he's very dedicated. Must have been a challenge during COVID. Behind the record breaking 75,000 seater indoor stadium is the divine providence of the Almighty Father, who has always been at the helm of this project. Pouring out blessings after blessings upon his kingdom. <laughs> blessings upon blessings. <laughs> so the Father is glorified in us, and the Father is happy that uh, we were able to accomplish this by faith because he saw our sacrifice, he saw how we sacrificed for his work for these 27 years, and to remember. 
how many large screens are there on this dome? I feel like there might be like seven massive screens all around the dome. Or maybe just these two. Uh, I don't know. Where all the children, sons and daughters, three times a year, can gather together and not bothered by the elements. I am very proud uh, that I finally see a structure like this in Davao City. And it's a place of gathering, a gathering of 75,000 people, which is very powerful. This is something, definitely something that the country will be proud of. Well, uh, I've been watching the Rodrigo Duterte. I love the lights. The dome is entertaining by itself. It doesn't even need um, a performance inside of it. Okay, um, there is one information that's lacking and uh, it's the date, you know, of its uh, inauguration. When is it going to be over? When are they going to inaugurate the place? When can the people visit the place? When will it be uh, functional, you know? Uh, I appreciated this documentary type of video but since i'm not a very religious person i did not really care that much for the second half where they focused way too much uh on uh, the the guy that you know was at the helm of this project uh i would have liked to learn more about how they built the dome and what it was built for really you know if it's really just for religious uh, gatherings or if it's for everything and anything and i think that's what it will be for because you can pour in that much money just for religious purposes right but then again i know that there's a lot of money in religion so i don't know but clearly it's a very very uh impressive structure i mean just standing outside of the dome looking at the lights flicker and all that is already entertaining enough i think visiting it because of the artistic direction inside of it it's also you know just interesting just walking inside and looking at everything even if you're not necessarily a big fan of the art like me um but then after that there is also probably performances that will be that will take place in there you know so it's going to be insane and i would not be surprised if um you know major competitions may take place in that arena at some point and i think that's one of the purpose of this uh king dome is to attract um you know international competitions i think i think and it's interesting that it's in davao city and not uh not in manila so there you go the philippines arena is going to be dethroned very soon 
<laughs> I think because it looks complete to me, you know, almost complete. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about uh, the kingdom. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, if you have found uh, uh, value in this video, then do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.